Welcome everybody to uh, the Athletic Center tonight for Hopkinton's Senior Night. I'd like to th uh, thank Norwood and welcome them. Um, I'd also like to thank the student body for all their support this year and all the parents who came to the games. And I'd like to thank the pep band members that did a great job uh, bringing their music to the game. And I'd also like to thank the cheerleaders that did a, did a wonderful job. So without further ado, we're going to introduce the seniors and their family members. First senior, Nick Hines, with his parents, Stephen and Jean. Our next senior, senior captain Brendan Kelly with his parents Brian and Brenda, sister Jackie with his fiance Joe, and brother Matthew. Our next senior, Ryan Kester, with his parents Mike and Sheila, and sister Annie. Our next senior, Mac Lind, with his parents Tim and Paige, sister Phoebe, brother Rex, grandparents Roger and Sally. Our next senior, Captain Michael Puvacad with parents Tom and Laura and sister Jade. Our final senior, Evan Sasiski, with his parents Rich and Abby, and their grandfather, Irv Rosenberg. I'm now going to turn it over to the cheerleading coach. Coach Ashley Pellucci and her three senior girls. So our first senior tonight is Abby Furlong. She's our senior captain. She'll be with her parents Jody, Steve, and sister Sarah. Our next senior is Nina Salmucci. She'll be with her host parents, Philip and Julie, her host brothers, James and Michael.
last senior is Allie Holmes with her parents Jen and Dave and her sister Mackenzie. All right, Elf Sports fans, we're uh, a wonderful tradition of uh, senior night. We're going to stand by and for six minutes of warm-ups, and we'll be back with the style of the game. My name is Connor. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al Gal, and we love HM. Hey, I want to be. Uh, camp. We love, love H -Camp. H Camp, and I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV, and I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We, we love, love H Camp, H -Camp TV. TV. Woo! And good evening, everybody. Steve Spector here with Mike Tarosian at the Hoppington High School Athletic Center for a really big night, uh, senior night here uh, for the the Hillers. The, the, the basketball team, the boys' basketball team, as well as the cheerleaders. So uh, we want to acknowledge, uh, we don't have the names of the cheerleaders, but we want to certainly acknowledge all the seniors on the uh, boys' varsity roster. So Ryan Kester, Michael Puvacad, Evan Sazitsky, Brendan Kelly, McCollum Lind, and Nicholas Hines. And uh, we're going to do the introduction. Yeah, it's a great tradition. So, but before that, let's get the uh, public address out of the way, and let's go down to them. The Tri-Valley League is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed towards competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Such actions include taunting, trash talking, and the berating of players or officials. Please respect all decisions made by officials. Please respect fans, coaches, participants, and opponents alike. Thank you for helping create a positive, respectful, and fun environment here at HHS. And now for tonight's oh, lineups. That's, uh, the for the Mustangs, starting at guard, number 22, sophomore, Cam McDonough. Starting at guard, double zero, junior, Dan Grasso. Starting at guard, number three, junior, Jaden Ryan. Starting at forward, number 12, junior, Will Gamble. And starting at forward, number 23, senior captain Tom or Ben Tomasello. The coaches for the Mustangs are JJ Oliver, Uncle Tom Shearer, Paul Nimblet, and Joe Meehan. And now for your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. Guard number 14, senior Ryan Kester. Starting at guard. Number 21, senior captain, Michael Kubikov. Starting at guard, number 22, senior, Evan Sizitsky. Starting at four, number 24, senior captain, Brandon Kelly. And starting at four, number 25, seat, Mac Lynn. The Hillers are coached by Tom Keen, Chris Banks, and Cheney Gaudet. Now please rise for the singing of our national anthem by HHS sophomore Elizabeth Kane. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Still. 
Welcome back here, Mike Tarosian and Steve Spector. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, uh, let me start again. Yeah. Mike Tarosian and Steve Spector here uh, for senior night here at the Hoppington versus Norwood boys uh, hoop game, and we are fired up. The, the crowd has got a lot of energy here. I got to just acknowledge Elizabeth Kane, who did an outstanding oh. job. Was getting chills with the Bar national anthem. tears to my eyes. Yep. Great yep. job. Very, very great job. Great one of the nicest renditions we've heard here. And a uh, quick uh, preview of the game here. The Hillers, Mike, are 12 and 6, and the yep. Mustangs, the inverted uh, at, at, uh, kind of record at <laughs> 6 and 12, <laughs> well, unfortunately for them. Right. And they're playing for a little more uh, pr uh, the pride, and uh, the Hillers are trying to get position for the playoffs. So here we go. And balls over to Kelly, over to Kester. Mustangs coming out in a 2-3 zone. And the Hillers starting five seniors on, seniors on senior night, including uh, including um, Evan Sazitsky, Evan, who it's yep. good to see him in there. And no good on for, uh, Norbert bringing the ball back. Ooh, nice move by number 23, Ben Tomasello. Ben Tomasello. Yeah, we're going to be a little slow getting the other team where this uh, roster is. All mixed around, not in numerical order. Sazitsky, no good. Good to see him launch a three-pointer. Norwood with a two-point lead early. Hillers in a man-to-man -man defense. Ooh, nice steal by Macklin, but back to Oh, oh it tipped it. There you go. Nice way to <laughs> get that one back. Right in front of the senior, uh, the student section. Kind of brings a little energy to the... Athletic Center here. Mack Lind uh, having a great season. Hiller staying with his uh, man to man. Oh, there's a steal by Puvikai. Almost a, a foul, no call. Norwood coming back. Ooh, Sazisky. Yeah. <laughs> little, little extra bump. Let's see if he calls the. Yeah, he yeah. did. <laughs> you know, it was kind of hard not to see that, Mike, you know, right in front of the refs, but. Evan Sazisky getting on the score sheet with the first foul of, of the night. Um, Non-shooting foul kind of happened after the shot. After the shot, right. And a three-point attempt by Norwood, no good. Over to Puvikad. Nice move by Kelly. Well, a kick can work that inside, huh? Yeah, Brennan's had a great season. He's a tough, tough to deal with underneath. Ooh, that's a... Almost a steal. And we'll see, it'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, Norwood dealing with Brendan because Brendan can really dominate underneath. And uh, Norwood has Ben Tomasello, senior, not as bulky as Brendan, and they'll be going at it tonight. But Brendan might have the advantage uh, down there. We'll see how that goes. Nice dish. Hiller's moving the ball around. Wide open, Kester. No good. Brendan with the rebound. Back to Kester. Puvikad, nice. That was smooth. That was uh, almost ballet-like. Ballet, there you go. Ballet-like. Very, very graceful, that? yeah. Yep. All the uh, dances that There's watched. There's a steal by Mack Lind. Sazitsky. Puvikad, there you little, go. little yeah, frantic there. Yeah. Hillers with an early 4-2 lead. That was almost a bit of half court. Bodies wow. flying everywhere. Three-pointer, no good by Norwood. Oh, there's a over oh, the back. Oh, a little reach, yeah. Another yeah, reach, that was kind of tough. Well, he, was go, he was going for the ball, and the, the uh, other player was sort of moving into his arm, I think. That's the way it looked from up here. Yeah. Uh, 
Certainly a lot of body contact there. Kind of tough not to call that one on Brendan. Sure. That's his first. Yep. Steven Mafiori Jr. in there. And there's a steal. Mack Lind over to Mafiori, over to Ambersoni. Puvacad no good with a three. Nice uh, rebound effort by Mafiori. And McDonough. I'm going to try to get these Norwood players uh, in my head here. McDonough with the ball at the top of the key, shaking and baking, nothing there. Oh, nice pass. No good. Beautiful dish, but Tomasello couldn't finish. But he does draw the foul. And that's his numbers. Uh, looks like a second foul on Brendan. We'll see if that's what the call is. Yeah, it is. Wow. That's an early, uh, that's a development we'll have to keep track of. Looks like Elon Rosen coming into the game for Brendan. Yeah. And Elon, yeah. I've been calling him the human eraser this season because he's, he's blocking everything underneath. Uh, if, if he's not blocking stuff, he's disrupting things down there. You know, Mike? Absolutely right. And the student section feeling their oats down there trying to disrupt things for the foul shooting uh, for Norwood, and they was very effective. They missed both of them, so. Now Fiore with the ball over to Ambersoni. Looking for the seam. Macklin, three-pointer, no good. Wide open, Puvacad, and it's good. <laughs> Plenty of time. A lot of time. Uncontested three for Puvacad. He, he can heat up. Norwood's doing a pretty nice job breaking that press for the Hillers. Oh. But they having trouble shooting that basket. Yep. So far, Hillers uh, having their way. Seven to three with four minutes left in the... Oh, nice pass. Too bad Elon couldn't, couldn't handle the pass and then try to go up the... Oh, Euro step is pretty sweet move. <laughs> Will Gamble, junior forward, with a took forever those two steps. Took about a month and a half, but no no travel, and he hit a beautiful shot. Lefty, seven five Hillers. Ooh, almost a foul. There's a it foul. Got, yeah, had to call that one. Students, students reacting to everything and anything tonight. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> I mean, you got the extra charge. It's senior night. Number one. Number two. <laughs> Last day of school. It's vacation this week. That's true. Um, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> These kids don't care. <laughs> Not a care in the world. Not a care in the world. Mafiori wide open. It's good. Oh, what a pretty three-pointer. Mafiori uh, heating up. Oh, there's a steal. Ambersoni. Uh, oh, almost had an extra step on that. You can see the Hillers have a lot of energy here. Uh, oh, nice. Three wish, three point party going on here. Wish, uh, Casta. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna jack out this lead here. Ooh, nice, nice idea, but there's no there's no room no, for that pass. Nice steal by the Hillers. More like a nice pass too. Ooh, that's a foul. Yeah. Almost knocked him over. Yeah, so far that's a good point, Mike. The you know. They don't have to. Ha they don't have school for about a week and a half. So, yeah, yeah. This is this is a big one here. Although we will be back on Tuesday. I did confirm it with uh, D King. We are back uh, here Tuesday night with the boys with their last season home game against uh, Wayland. Not non-league, but uh, regular season game. And uh, hopefully by let's see after Tuesday, between Thursday and Saturday, we should know the playoff schedule. And there's a good chance that the boys will have a home game. That would be gives, great. Which gives us one more chance to broadcast. There you go. Well, yeah, the uh, we don't know too much about Wayland, but we, what we do know about the Hillers and the Tri-Valley League is they have a 12-6 and six record. They have, uh, you know, since a 2-3 and three start early in the season, and they had a whole bunch of away games to start the season. They've... Yeah, you know, we did. We just stopped broadcasting until middle of January with, with the boys. And they've had, <laughs> a good, they've had a good run since yeah, then. Great uh, run. They've been 10-3 and three since then. So they're, you know... Uh, Good balance of juniors and seniors, and I uh, have a couple sophomores come in and adding value. Brian Keefe's had a great season here. Actually, he's the only sophomore on the on the roster, and everyone else is a junior and senior. And, right. and Brian, uh, he can light it up too from three-point land. Absolutely. So. 
And earlier this season, the Hillers did beat Norwood at Norwood 63-59. Wide open three, and it's good by Ambersoni. All of a sudden, 16-5. This, this is uh, going our way so far, Mike. I think, I think that's the mission of uh, first period here is to have just threes. Oh, nice pass. Oh, very unselfish. Oh, Elon Rosen. Oh, oh. wow. It's like a college atmosphere. Oh, my. <laughs> you can just you can just tell the energy in here is electric. That's not overstating it. I mean, you just have to watch this. There's nothing we have to say. <laughs> I mean, and you can, like I said, you oh, can nice the pass. Is a foul. Wow. Bam. I don't know if Norwood has an answer. Um, 21 points already for the Hillers <laughs> with 2.14 left. That's a that's a whole lot of points. Yep. Michael Puvacod coming out to a, a lot of appreciation going on uh, in the whole in the whole athletic center, but especially in the student and section. I tell you, it's going really fast, and Samantha Diggs is building up a sweat there, keeping up with the score. So nicely, uh, <laughs> nice job there in the back uh, the graphics. And yeah, no, we couldn't get another old-fashioned three-pointer, so. Ooh. Oh, that was a big drive. And a block by Rosen again. Hillers bringing it to him. Both ends of the court. No good, Mafiori. 21-5. Norwich trying to get their legs under them. And a wide open three. No good. Elon Rosen with a rebound. Ambersoni over to Kester. And Hiller's working for a good shot. 22 seconds, plenty of time working for first shot in the shot clock. Nicholas Hines. Ooh. Oh, there you go. A little ankle break there. Oh, there's a lot of contact there. Again, Hiller, block. the Hiller uh, student section reacting to anything and yep. everything. Uh, Matt Fiore put a little uh, shake and bake on the Norwood player and then. Yeah, that was even prior. I don't, know, I don't know what the term is, Mike. Is it an ankle break? I mean, he, I yeah, you could. he went <laughs> down because he just faked him out so yeah. so blatantly and so thoroughly. And uh, ooh, the student section enjoyed that very much. Students in uh, black today. I don't know if it's a blackout thing. I didn't get the memo. So I'm not sure uh, why all the black. I usually go with my black hill or uh, golf top, but I, I couldn't find it. So I went with my I went with my backup gray oh, athletic uh Hello, athletic shirt. Sure. I hope that's all right with H camp. It's a, yeah, it's perfectly fine. I mean, it's it's a Friday night <laughs> for me, and Friday means red shirt Friday. You remember everyone deployed. There you go. Always keeping that troops in our minds. There's a steal. Oh, there's a lot of contact. No call. The coach, the Norwood coach. I don't blame him there. That was a whole lot of contact. Yeah. No call. Oh, that's out of control there by the the Norwood player. You see, Norwood is already playing with a little desperation. Absolutely. You, you see the, just the way they swing their arms, uh, the little extra touch they'll give. A little desperation on some of the reaches. Yeah, it's not easy, especially you're starting off this way, you know. Yeah, no question. And Because uh, it's, it's going to be a long way <laughs> to the fourth quarter when all the, uh, when all the fresh faces come in. And the Hillers showing no mercy with a full court press, which right. they they typically do. Oh, that's too bad. Number two. Yeah, that, uh, that's just all part of the hustle that Coach Key drives into this team. You Dem know, pressure, pressure, pressure. Make them earn it. Yep. Damari Daniels, uh, sophomore for Norwood, very athletic player, a little out of control. He's having a seat. Um, Hillers with the ball, working it around for a shot. No good. Kester on the three. Almost a foul. Yeah, it is a foul. Yeah, foul. Yeah. Nicholas Hines getting his money's worth. <laughs> I, I tell you, you, if you look at it, I mean, the, the Hills are working very hard out there. And I want to say they've got about 92% of all the rebounds that they went after. So it's not from not working. That's a, I don't know how you calculated that percentage, but I think you're right. Norwood, no good. Three-pointer. I was an electronics Ooh. major with a minor in math. So. Oh, okay, well, you're good. And, and my youngest daughter is a math teacher, so there's got to be something oh, in me that the bloodline, yeah. knows how to figure that out. 
Nicholas Hines, I think, his second foul there. Uh, I think that was on. I haven't put it up on the board yet, but quarter's winding down. 20 seconds in the first quarter in Norwood. Oh, nice play. Nice dish. <clears throat> Very nice uh, passing by Norwood, 24-7, with uh, 10 seconds left in the quarter. Killers looking for the final shot. Nicholas Hines. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Woo-hoo. That's like the that icing on the cake, Mike. Was very, very pretty. And what a way to go on. I mean, I don't care what the score is, but when you can end a quarter like that <laughs> with a shot like that. So let's, uh, it is senior night again, as we said. Let's uh, see our cheerleaders for one more time out here. And uh, great job by the cheerleaders. And, and uh, we just missed uh, Coach Scotty Mack in there uh, getting the, doing the roller coaster with the uh, student section. Scotty Mack, one of the best cheerleaders. He's legend, legendary, legendary in town. Everywhere, everywhere I go, every day, you see him somewhere. He's quite the fixture. Got to love it. And um, good job by Scotty and the student section there and the Hoppington cheerleaders. And, uh, just and, you, and you're seeing it all, too, because of the good job of our crew tonight. Which is Tom Dings, Samantha Dings, Mary Arnott, Gene Kam Kaminsky, Kaminsky, and John Ritz. We, we thank you all of you guys for tonight and the whole season for keeping, uh, keeping us under control for the most part. This, 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 is why, this is why HK was successful, because of volunteers like them and you that pour your heart into bringing this kind of information, this kind of programming to the people of Hopkins. And while we were just chatting, uh, number 23, Ben Tomasello, senior, had a nice nice uh, lefty layup, making the score 26 to 9. And we'll see if things kind of level off here because it's it's an incredible pace. It's going to be hard to uh, maintain. If, if the Hillers keep up this pace, they'll score 100 points tonight. Ooh, nice play by the... I don't know if he's a senior. He looks like a, he's a big kid. He could he's be a, a senior. Boy, yeah. Nice play by the student section up there, man in the front row. Yeah, usually it's the seniors because all the underclassmen would have to sit somewhere else. Oh, I see. Look at rules here. Well, we're having a good time so <laughs> far with the with yes, score yeah. being 26 to 9. Uh, well, good idea, but there wasn't any room for that pass. Hiller's... Uh, Working for another shot here. Mafiori thought about it. Mike. And uh, for the folks at home tour, just uh, if you notice, we have three zebras on the court tonight. Uh, <laughs> referees, now that this is the end of the season, uh, they're going into playoffs. The playoffs are three referees. And this is their chance to practice and get ready for playoffs where it really counts. Yep, absolutely. So far, so good. Oh, wide open down there. Oh, just Brendan a little Ke light. Brendan Kelly uh, disrupting that shot, number 33, Aiden Pryor. Pretty big and bulky kid built similarly to uh, Brendan. Yeah, he and might have like two inches on him, though. Yep. And, and probably about uh, four inches of reach. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan's got some long arms. Brendan kind of had, had a little impact on that shot. Almost an extra Ooh, step. Tough, tough pass. Puvacad. Oh, got fortunate. Keith, wide open. Oh. No good. Nice box up by Pryor. Keeping Brennan off it. Brennan's a rebounding machine. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of contact. Lot refs of. letting the play. Yep. Oh, and there's another. Again, after shot foul. Three shots. I think they're going to give him three shots. <clears throat> that's a that's uh I think that's appropriate. Yeah, it was, was after the ball was released. Borderline, but that's okay. Number three, Jaden Ryan. Kind of their main ooh. 
student section really getting into his, his head there. That wasn't even really in the neighborhood of the rim, which is un, unusual here. Maybe for the next shot, we can get camera three to, to take a look at what this guy's looking at right here. Let's uh, save that until he shoots Tom. <laughs> Let the folks at home see. It's not easy to score. <laughs> and he got one off. One for three. Oh, nice. Nice idea. Oh, yep, nice shot. Good hustle. Good oh. hustle. <laughs> I mean, his body's flying everywhere, Mike, in the last eight seconds. There, I, I, I think eight bodies hit the floor. I, I did. <laughs> I didn't know we were watching into a lacrosse. <laughs> These guys are vicious. Well, you know, Norwood's got some pride. You, you know that. Sure. They were down by 22. Now they're down by, six, by, by 16. So they're, they're not going away. And Brendan with a... Oof. Oh. Brendan missing a couple bunnies underneath. And Mafiori with a three. Is that five for him? He's got a, that's a second three. I'm not sure. Uh, he's like. Oh, uh, no, uh, the first quarter he had like three of them, right? I'm not sure if he had all of those, but he's, he certainly had a couple, two yeah. or three. I'm, I'm, Tom Nappy here. here. Tom, he, I he know. That's score. Tom, Tom, I don't know how he can keep scoring and watch a game at the same time. Nice shot by number oh. three, Jaden Ryan. Hill is moving the ball around. Nord in a man to man. Into Brendan down low. Wide open at the top. Mafiori no good. Tomasella with the ball at the top, looking for some daylight. Oh, blocked by Lynn, but gets the gets the foul called on him. And uh, a lot of fouls, and yeah, both teams effectively are in the in the bonus right now because the next one on Norwood will be putting uh, the Hillers in one-on-one -on -one situation. Boy, the student section doing their job, disrupting every foul shot as much as they can right. control that, and they have been effective. So I don't have the stats, but Norwood's probably about two for eight from the foul line tonight, something like that. When you're getting all these chances at the line, you need to put them all in. And he hits the second one. 29-13. Hillers, 4.51 to go in the first half. At an electric type of uh, energy. Oh, that's got to be a... Nope. Wow. Mafiori not giving much room there. and a Bit of a football tackle move there. Sure. Looks like a foul on Mafiori there. That'll be his first. Hillers with nine fouls. That just speaks to their energy tonight. And um, next one, next Hiller foul will put Norwood in a double bonus. Number 22, Cam McDonough, sophomore on the line for two. Or for, for one and one, rather. And he, he misses it. Rankatorian the game oh. now. Rankatorian almost got slapped in the face there. Mafiori looking to move the ball around over to Kester. Shot clock at 10. Gambersoni at the top. Down to five seconds on the shot clock. Got to get it going. And he gets it off, and it's good. Wow. Beat that buzzer. Off balance. Nicely done. That's a backbreaker if you're Norwood. <laughs> Elon Rosen with his like third block of the night taking it down low and it's oh just rolls off oh. jump ball number 23 Ben Tomasella he's got some wheels he can really get down the court not a real bulky kid but uh, nevertheless he took it to the hoop and got and got swallowed up by the a couple of Hillers and ended up jump ball and the ball is in Hillers' hands right now. 
Rankaton. Beautiful. Using, using that backboard. Rankatori like it. with a nice kiss off the glass for two. His first bucket of the night. There's a steal and a wide open layup for Mafiori. Easy breezy. Killers got a lot of points going on tonight. Three over three minutes left. Oh, there's a steal. Mafiori. Hiller's keeping the pressure on. No, no let up. Oh, Rankatori, nice move. No good. A nice move by number two. Daniels. Daniels with picking up the uh, remnants of a couple missed shots from Norwood there. 35-15. Hillers with a comfortable lead. Rankator down low. Oh, good idea. Rosen was looking for the cut, but he couldn't get there in time, so got to turn over. That ball back to Norwood. Mafiori coming out, kind of lighting things up here in the first half. What a great first half he had. Looking for a trap, and there it is. Timeout by Coach J.J. Oliver of Norwood, who is trying to come up with some sort of recipe here, Mike. And yeah, I, don't I think know he if he's got one. It. Yeah, he's got to come up with something. I mean, here it is. You're talking a 20-point uh, difference. You're talking a a, uh, a team that is, is very much beating them to the ball, um, especially on the rebounds. And those turnovers are just... I don't, I don't know what to pass it to sometimes when, <laughs> when you see it. So, uh, you know, uh, what, what, do you tell, what do you tell the kids? I mean, I never coached it. I, you know, I played a little, like, out of yep. the streets and yep. in, uh, in Melrose. Gather Park. Malden. Malden, Melrose. I, I played a little Melrose, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was on the wrong side of the tracks there, right? Oh, that was uh, – <laughs> if my mother knew I was in Melrose. Oh, my goodness. But <laughs> it's uh, – I, I don't know what you can tell them at this point here other than, listen, guys, keep playing physical you know obviously uh they're not following i mean they're not even in the bonus yet i don't even hopkins out of the bonus yet because they've been controlling their fouls yeah right now it's a little bit of a, you know a lot of pride and uh things have leveled off a little bit after the hillers had 26 points in the first quarter they only have nine this quarter so things have kind of leveled off a little bit almost impossible to maintain that kind of pace all right. game so oh nice nice play by the Norwood there, 35-17. We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves Bucket here. by McDonough. Well, you know, the, you watch you watch the Mustangs. Uh, handle, <laughs> you watch the Mustangs handle their press. Watch, they'll get through their press pretty good until they cross that half line. And once they cross this line, this is where they get in trouble. Almost a travel, no call. Yeah. Wide open three. Banks it in. That was an old school shot. Tomasello, I don't know if you call glass or not, but <laughs> nevertheless, a three-pointer, bringing the, kind of answering the last three-pointer from Ambersoni, or I'm sorry, Puvacad down the other end a, a minute ago. 38-20, Hillers, a minute and a half left in the half. Puvacad again, and he hits it again. It's on fire. 41-20. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah, just rejected. Oh, oh, that looked like all ball. I'm sorry. That's a hometown uh, commentary, Mike. But I, th you know, there was some. It, I'm, I'm not know. You know, we we, we I, couldn't see it from here. We don't have instant right, replay. Right, the so. best. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, the refs had the right shot. It just looked like he rolled right on top of that ball. But number two, Damari Daniels. Probably one of the most athletic players on the court for either team tonight. He's super quick and uh, only a sophomore, so uh, we'll be probably seeing him the next couple of years. He seems pretty focused, seems pretty relaxed, and he swishes two in a row, bringing the, the lead down to 19 points with a minute left in the first half. Rankatori at the top. 
Ooh, blocked by number 23, Tomasello. Kind of a little touche there. Right back at you. And we Ella have Spar. Ella Spar Check making it. an appearance. Junior forward had a nice, nice season so far. And Sazitsky's in the game as well. And speaking about making an appearance, it looks like the uh, Hilla Girls basketball team just came in. Wow, Amber Sony, like a three-point barrage, Mike. That's a lot of points in the first half. 44-22, and Hiller still pressing. Oh, almost a, almost a steal. Barely got it over in time, but they did. Here's a steal. Oh. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Amber Sony bringing it up. Over to Sazitsky. Oh, no. Oh, God, what travel. That's, a, that's <laughs> too bad. Sazitsky swishes one. Yeah. You know, that's, that's just a shame because Evans had a great you know, senior season, and he comes in. I, we've seen much more obvious travels than that one. Sure. I didn't really see that one. I, I couldn't see because I got this monitor in my way. We'll have to check that one out. But 11 seconds left in the quarter, 44-22 Hillers. So they can finish with a Ooh. three. Wow. Dan Grasso finishes there. Finishes the half with uh, three points for the Mustangs. And Hillers go marching in. As the Mustangs, look at this, the difference is Hillers. All the Hillers are already into the locker room doors, and the Mustangs are just walking off. So... I think they're a little tired. Well, I, I got to say it real quick. Um, that that second quarter was exactly even. Both both teams scored 18 points. Right. So uh, we're gonna. Why don't we have the, the Hiller cheerleaders take us into the half? And, and we'll then we'll see be right back. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. We're back here, Mike Tarosian. Steve Spector, along with Tom Dings, Samantha Dings, Mary Arnott, Gene Comiskey, and John Ritz, the HCAM crew. And we're about to start the second half between Hoppington and Norwood. And um, Mike, we uh, after the first quarter, which was like a like a track meet, pretty much, uh, twenty six to seven. Hillers after one, but uh, after the second quarter, things kind of leveled off a little bit. Yep. Both teams scored 18 points, and uh, kind of level. You know, the game is now 44-25 at halftime. A whole lot of points by the Hillers. This could be you know, the most points they scored this year. Mike is 74, so they're at a pretty good pace to uh, outdo that this uh, tonight. Especially if the shooting stays on. And you know, I'm looking at the uh, status coming out near here for Hopkins. Uh, uh, you know, a bunch of familiar faces. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is senior night after all. So, yeah, they they got to let them play. I think that uh, what I'd like to know is how that first half goal and scoring goes. 
So, uh, good segue. Thank you for that. Uh, I spoke to the scorekeeper down there, and we have some quick quick uh, numbers for you. Steven Mafiori, 13 points, leads the Hillers. Michael Puvacad with 11. Tom Ambersoni with 9. Ryan Kester with 5. And then Drew Rancatori, Brendan Kelly, and Elon Rosen all with 2. And uh, Mafiori and Puvacad each with 3 three-pointers oh, and sorry. Ambersoni with 2. So, uh very well distributed as far as the points go. And number 23, Ben Tomasello had 11 points leading Norwood. Oh, and that's a nice move by number 22, Cam McDonough, to get the second half started. And Hillers have the ball back on the other end. And a double dribble, kind of a rare call. Looks like Kester used both hands on that one. I was going to say, I, I can't remember the last time I saw one of those. It doesn't happen too often. Again, Norwood, a pass to nowhere, uh, somehow recovered from that. And to Ben Tomasello, all Tomasello of a sudden, it's again. a 14-point game. This is the way things go sometimes, Mike. They Things happen in bunches. And Hillers uh, can't get too comfortable with a... Ooh, almost Whoa, a trouble. Oh, stepped it. Hillers had a 20-something point lead. Now it's down to 14. And definitely far from over. And you can see Norwich coming out fired up. You know, their record is 6-12. and 12. That's a nice shot. On that roll, Brady. Um, you know, a lot of their games were close. So, ooh, there's a, almost a steal. Three Long point. three. Wow. Holy cow. It's that Dan Grasso who ended the first half. All of the a sudden, ooh, almost a travel. I think uh, Hines got away with dragging his pivot foot there a little bit. Yeah, Norwood's definitely, you can see a little more fire in their belly. I think they were a little shell-shocked with senior night, all the, all the hoopla. Festivities, yeah. Yep, that was, and that's, that's not easy for a road team coming here, knowing that they're going to, have a tough time to get their engine running, and, and uh, now that they do, all of a sudden it's a it's we got a game here, 13 points. Now Fiore looking for a three, no, not there. Ambersoni, not it off, just in time. Rebound. Oh, take your turn. You get oh, nice. second set. Oh, it's oh. bad. There it is. Mac Lynn cleaning it up after Kelly's miss. <laughs> it's a heck of a block by Kelly Puvacad wide open no good nice move oh. two blocks last two possessions for Norwood ended, resulted in two blocks by the Hillers yeah those are, those are pretty ones too and nice and clean kind of gets the energy up a little bit here again with the student section Forty-eight, thirty-three, Hillers. Long three, and it's good. Will Gamble, his second three-pointer of this half, bringing it to that's the closest Norwood has been all night. Twelve-point deficit right now for them, and they've got the momentum here in the second half. They have eleven to four Norwood in the second half. Oh, they got that pass off nice, and Mac Lynn lighting it up again. Mafiori a little bit too much body there. He had his hands kind of, that was not a handsy kind of a foul, but he was a little bump and run, a little chest yep. pump there. And that's his second. We'll see if Mafiori heats up. He, he, We've seen him have a, a couple of games that I can remember where he has erupted for some, ooh, there's an, no, no foul there. Could have been, but. looking for it. There's a foul. Mafiori a few weeks ago erupted for 11 points in like a minute and a half to start the second half. And then uh, I want to say the last game uh, a couple nights ago, similar, had a two or three 
three pointers and got about eight points right. to start the second half. So they kind of shut him down until until now he gets that free throw. Macklin coming out after hitting that three pointer and Elon the human eraser Rosen in. I know I don't know if he likes that nickname or not, but I've I haven't heard yet. <laughs> I mean I was gonna Mafiori, I was gonna call him the microwave because he heats up quick. It's like a Vin uh what was that guy from the Detroit Pistons? Uh, I'll remember it in a minute. Way back when. I think Vinny Johnson is his name, but he they call him Vinny the Microwave. Johnson, I think that was his name. I don't remember a microwave being a name. I but, heard of uh, a refrigerator, <laughs> but I never heard of a microwave. Just well, saying. Well, Matt Fiore can heat it up quick, so that's where the yeah, microwave comes from. It. And he, right. It's going to run with that for now. I'll take your word for it. Yep. I mean, I would have went with blowtorch or something. That heats it up quick. Yep. Ooh, that's a pass out of bounds. Ooh. Hiller's... Uh, Responding to Norwood's initial run to start the third quarter, Mike. And they, they got the lead back up to 17 points. It was down to 12. Referees having a discussion uh, with a scorekeeper. Looks like, uh, looks like they're doing a oh. clock adjustment here. Looks like this can't be, can't be four seconds left in the quarter. Yeah. 441. 441, they, they readjusted the clock. I think there was a, something stuck. Oh, a nice crossover. Keith, no good. Nice move by uh, number double zero. Dan Grasso's got some points. And Coach Keen, not happy. I don't blame him. Yep. There's just so, again, uh, you know, if you're the Norwood coach, Mike, what do you say to your team down 18 points at halftime or whatever it is? It was 19-point deficit. You know, they, they level things off in the second quarter. And now I think if I'm the Norwood coach, you want to see if they can beat Hoppington in the third quarter and tighten that lead down to, say, get it down to double digits or, or close to, to under double, well, they double digits. Well, they definitely made some changes because uh, the Mustangs have a lot better control coming into this third quarter. So they're able to, uh, you know, work through the press. They're passing. They're, they're actually making the passes. The Hill is, uh, you know, and uh, turning the ball over. So they're not forcing those turnovers. That's a nice picture with the shirts. Yeah, I like that. that. It's classy. Yeah. I like that a lot. I tell you, these, these uh, moms, they think of everything, huh? And, I, I, you know, I, had, I think you went down there to the, to the floor as well. We're up here in the perch here. But they had some wonderful displays down. You know, whoever put, put all those displays together tonight. Yeah, that's you usually know. the underclassmen are in charge of doing the uh, senior signboards. Yeah, beautiful you pictures. Know, great pictures from... Them all through the years at school and their senior pictures, and they, they get nice messages to each other because, you know, everyone loves their seniors. Yep. Say last year. Time goes by quickly. Sure does. Hey, my eight years of high school went by really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a double dribble. They got away yeah. with one there, I think. That's two in one game. Ooh, there's a, almost a steal, and there is a steal. Ooh, there's pass yeah. to nowhere. Oh, stolen back. Mafiori almost with a foul, but got away with it, and there's a, oh. almost another foul by Ambersoni. Nice play by number 22. Oh, you can see Norwood is really playing with a lot of pride here. Oh, good hustle by Ambersoni, knocks it out of bounds. Yep. Like I said, it was 20, 26 points for the Hillers after one, and now we're almost, you know, working our way through. Sure. Oh. Woo, what a play. <laughs> Will Gamble somehow, circus shot there. Lefty. Nice save. Oh. I'm not sure if Rosen tapped that in, but... Uh. I don't know, but right now the Norwood is having their way against the Hillers, so things have definitely leveled off. Here's here's what I was saying a minute ago, Mike. All of a sudden, it's a it can be a ten point game if yeah. this is a this shot goes down. So, you know, you knew something had to happen where 
at the last time they met, what was it, five point difference? You said yeah, the, the, the game. So, holy cow! Will Gamble. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Norwood, it's got. 18 points in this quarter, and there's still three and a half minutes to go. So they are on fire. That's not an that's not an overstating it. Yeah, there, there's definitely some concern on that hill of bench where you have your second timeout called with <laughs> with just half of your uh, quarter, quarter yeah. gone by, and you already used up two of your timeouts. That's that's tell you there, there was some concern. Well, certainly Coach Keen uh, is feeling that concern as well, Mike, and uh, and he's not liking what he's seeing. Hillers with only nine points to 18 for Norwood this quarter. So things have definitely tightened up. Sure. And uh, Norwood has the momentum going, and, and Coach Keene is going to try to come up with a strategy to flip that around a little bit. Yeah, they're definitely uh, – Mustangs get a lot better control this half. And like I said, their passing has been spot on. It's not like, you know, just throwing it. It seems like they run into a little trouble – and it's going to throw one of his easiest for him, and boom, forced turnover. Yep. And I did have a chance that I went down to get my Milky Way bar earlier. I haven't had a chance to have it, but I ran into the Hiller girls team down down there, and they unfortunately did not. Oh, nice play by Rose, and kept his body under control. Not an easy shot. No. So the Hiller girls unfortunately didn't, didn't win in Norwood tonight, but they're back and uh, rooting on there. Yeah, they, only, they had the early game because uh, there's no JV. Oh, I see. I think. Well, they got a big enough place that they can play. Them Not both. really sure, but they're back and they're, they're rooting back. on the boys here tonight. Yep. They had a really good season. Very young girls team. Uh, ooh, tough shot by Amber Sony. Rosen cleaning it up. Season plagued by two big injuries. Radu yes. and Morningstar. Exactly. Oh, there's a nice wow. shot and a steal and a bucket. That's big. All of a sudden, it's a 16-point lead again. So that that timeout went, went very well for Coach Keene and the Hiller boys. Kind of forced that one up. Dan Grosso kind of launched it. Uh, didn't really have his right. feet set. And Ryan Kester back in the game. Rankatori's in the game. Kelly's in the game. Tough pass. Good idea, but a little too strong. Rankatori couldn't handle that. Yep. Good job by uh, John Rich protecting that camera. He's an athlete out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not like me. I was a mathlete. A mathlete? Athlete. Well, and I was always at the game, so I guess there was some kind of athletic supporter. There you go. I'm not, I'm not going to go anywhere with okay, that one. Okay, thank I'll you. leave that one alone. Okay. Cam McDonough for Norwood. Hitting the shot, and now Pubakad launching it. No good. Rankatori cleaning it up. out. Yes. Get, and the foul. Gets the student section fired up, as well as his uh, teammates off the bench. Certainly one of the more enjoyable nights uh, of the season here with all the uh, positive mojo with the senior night. The, yeah, big great, crowd. Big crowd, both sides of us, and an a overfilled student section. It was so overfilled, they even had to take the railings out of the middle just so they could squeeze them in. Don't see that too often, Mike. No, no. Rankatori looking for... And he gets the friendly roll at home for a three-point play. That's a big play for him. Through Rankatori Jr., he'll be back next year. Ooh, almost, that's got to be a travel. I'm just a justice serve there. Hillers with the ball. Oh. Kester wide open, three. It's good. Three-point barrage here. That's Ryan Kester's second three-point of the night. All of a sudden, it's a 20-point lead. So Hillers, uh. Responding to that last timeout by Coach Keen. Oh, that's a looks like a foul. Yeah, that's yeah. the right call there. Didn't get his didn't get his feet get set. It, get it, get set. You got to be set. 
Ambersoni's second foul. 118 left in the third quarter, Mike. 65-45. Things have uh, things happen in bunches. And sure. Oh, there's a block by Kelly. And a scramble. Rancatori showing some good sportsmanship, helping his uh, opponent up. Aiden Pryor. Mafiori in for Ambersoni. Tough shot. Wow. Steven Mafiori coming in off the bench, and six seconds later, he's got a bucket. 22 point lead now. It's like a foul on Kester. Kind of bailed Norwood out there because uh, they were in a tough spot. And uh, new shot clock there. And there's a steal. Yeah. Nice dish oh, to yeah. Kelly. He's done that all season, Mike. Yep. Never disappoints. That is, uh, Brendan hasn't had a whole lot of points tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Total scramble there. 23, Ben Tomasello. He's the leading scorer and the, certainly the, the team leader for Norwood. He had 11 points at the half. And he's had a couple more buckets this this uh, quarter, so you got to be the team leader that's and pull a, that's off an over and back. You got to be a team leader, pull off shoes like that. <laughs> that's a turnover by Norwood on the backcourt. Kind of a tough spot. The uh, Norwood player should have really passed the ball all the way back there, but he didn't really give the, his teammate much room to to catch the ball. Since that timeout, Mike, it's 14 to two run by the Hillers. Nice box out by Aiden Pryor. And that'll do it for the quarter. Wow. So you, you get to see the Mustangs bring, bring the uh, lead in a little closer, about 11 points. But the accordion happened again. You know, timeout, the second timeout was called, and they made the change. Well, we're going to see uh, who's going to win the 50-50. I know it's not me. I didn't get a chance to buy any tickets today. But this is Samantha Diggs' favorite part. Winning number is 3510363. I'll say it one more time. 3510363. Come get your cash. And with a big crowd tonight, whoever gets the 50-50 raffle yeah, is probably it's, it's gonna be a good take. Gonna be buying for their friends tonight because they're gonna have a, a chunk of cash. And uh, where does the, where do the rest of the proceeds go? The Hoppington it, Athletics? It's, no, it's the uh, class of 2019. Oh. Uh, 2019, they've been doing 50-50 raffles at volleyball and basketball games since their <laughs> sophomore year. Oh wow! And these kids are dedicated. They, uh, you know, they're, they're just raising the funds. And all the funds that they make help cut down on their costs with their dues. It keeps those ticket prices low for all the events like the senior cruise, senior picnic. Great. Prom. Uh, not prom. Uh, what's the big one? The, oh, the end of the year dance with the parents. Oh, down at Gillette Stadium? Gillette, yeah. Yep. Oh, nice play. by Nice finish by Damari Daniels. He's had a decent night tonight. That's his, uh, I think, his sixth or eighth point of the night. Kester looking for some room. Hiller's uh, most uh, offensive night of the season. I don't know who they they got their 74 points against, but they're going to break that tonight for sure. They got 72 already. This is, I don't know what the record is. They're going to hit 80 or 90 points. I mean, you don't see that too much in high school games. Yep. Mafiori's fifth three-point of the night. And it's a steal by Mafiori. And oh, a little too much mustard on that one. <laughs> good idea by Mafiori. And set all, you know, we had a 
if I'm if my math was right, 53 to 43, and it's a 19 to four run. And I, right. I'm not a math major. I was an economics major in college. I don't know if that helps. You know, it took me eight years well, to get out of UMass Amherst. No, I, I, I did it in four. I got out in four. I was going to say, I don't play people who went to school for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> They're called doctors. Anyway. Oh, there you go. Well, I, so made we it, I made it clear to both my, my kids, Olivia and Michael, in college, you got four years. And, and uh, yeah, Olivia made it out in four. Michael's going to graduate um, supposedly in May. He tells me that he's on time and on schedule. So That's great. I'm going to trust him on that one. Steffi did five, but that transfer oh, to yeah. uh, down south there to Coastal Carolina, that kind of messed things up a little bit. So she had a half a year at it. But she's teaching in Milford now, right? No, no, that's that's the oldest. Oh, that's she's, she's down there. Alexi. She's a she's a headhunter for some corporation down there. Oh, okay. And uh, but Alexi, who did her uh, time over there at um, at American, uh, American International yep. uh, in Springfield, um, she's. Just finishing her masters right now. Awesome. And teaching high school algebra. Long Berkeley. three, Mike. Whoa. Whoa. That was from like Ashland. That was a yeah, long it, way away, that one. It, but why not? You're it down. It did by, hit the rim. Yeah. You know, when you're down by twenty five points, why not? You know, if it was an air ball, you're gonna say, Really, what are you doing that for? But at least he, he made some contact. And we have Brian Keith at the line. Shooting two. I, uh, again, we have a little time to talk about it. So Brian, Brian's m mom, Carol, and I yep. went have known each other since first grade, literally. And we both ended up, you know, getting married and uh, moving out to Hopkinton. And Carol's husband, Jerry's a great guy. And we've raised our families here. A lot of Framingham folks moved out to Hopkinton. That's worked out very well. And Brian... The only sophomore on the roster has got a bright future. He's got two more years ahead of him, and he's yeah. had a great season, and he hits two, two free throws there. Tough nice shot. Nice move. Gamble with the bucket draws the foul. Will Gamble, he's, uh, he's a hustler. He's had a, quite a game yeah. uh, himself. He only had two points in the first half, but he's definitely got a been a catalyst in this uh, second half. For forward, he's got some moves like a guard. And he's hitting all of his free throws as well. That's a uh, that means something. That's going to be going to be a miracle if Norwood can make the comeback. But Gamble's doing his best to keep keep him in the game. Ellis Spar, over rank of Tory. Nicholas Hines, no oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. Took that little spin at the clock. Nicholas Hines has got this personal fan club. Whenever he does anything on the floor all season, he gets a lot of uh, reaction. Yep. I got nothing like that when I was playing. Yep. Both teams really not taking the pedal off the metal. But the Hillers, oh, a little shake and bake by Rancatori. Nice recovery by Jaden Ryan, and ball goes back to Norwood. And there there's another Gamble. shot by Gamble. <laughs> He's got about 10 points this, this half. Wide open. Rancatori thought about it. Ellis Sparth thought about it and launched it. No good. Five minutes remaining in game time here. Yeah. Nice rebound by Hines and a. Oh, too bad. Yep. A little miscommunication there. Nice job on uh, protecting that water jug by the trainer, Catherine Henry. Nice play by her. Good. It's good when the athletic trainers have an easy night. That's yes, you like that's to see that. True. Yeah, it, it, you also want to have an easy night because you don't want to see what you see it on these bench with all these kids with their legs and braces and that's right. kids coming out with ice packs on their shoulders. Jaden Ryan. Oh. oh, on the floor. And uh, yeah. after, after Jaden Ryan hits a three-pointer, 
Uh, looks like Hines got tackled before the shot. So, Yeah, he was going up with the shot, saw him coming. He wound up ducking instead of taking the shot. Yep. <laughs> nice recovery by Puvakad. Sazitsky. Love to see Evan get a get a bucket here in the, one of the last home games of the season. Senior night. Good to see him in the game with four minutes left. 20-point lead or so. 19-point lead for the Hillers. Oh, there's a lot of contact. Uh -huh. Got to call that one, Mike. Oh, without a doubt. Yep. You know, prior, prior to the big guy for Norwood. He's a big, stocky kid, but when you put him next to Kelly, like, like you say, he's about three inches short. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little shorter. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like normal guy. And he hits the first of two. <laughs> Stephen Reen in the game for Damari Daniels for Norwood. And he hits the second. Lead down to 17. I, too early to say it's over because uh, Nord has erupted. Uh, pulled things a lot closer, but that was short-lived. And the Hillers kind of responded by pulling ahead by 26 six points or something like that. Sazitsky, why not launch it? Going to give him an another shot. He's going to do it again. Yeah. And it's good. There it is, and this crowd is on their feet. Love it. Devin Sisiski. That's amazing. That's good for the, the team spirit. And, uh, you know, these kids doing their time in, in the practices and all that stuff. So it's great to get a, a three-pointer well, there. Thinking about it again, why not? They're feeding them. Yeah, they want them to get it. Sisiski's showing his... A little more, uh, oh, too bad. After so, shooting, launching three in a row, he figured he's going to work the ball around to his teammates. So talking about college, I have to give a plug to Amanda Diggs, former HCAM government producer and still part-time volunteer when I can get her parents to drag her out. Uh, she's graduating in May from WPI, and she's staying in for her fifth year for a master's in aerospace engineering. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, what, that's what I think I call a rocket surgeon. <laughs> that it, rocket surgeon? That's impressive. Yep. Well, we got to give the plugs to the Ding family because the Ding's family, because they have uh, been as steady as uh, they come here. Yep, absolutely. Appreciate oh. them and you know, all the whole crew here. Oh, absolutely. Oh. John Ritz with uh, his son Andy, and now his wife, uh, Jay McCluskey, is now part of it. So that's uh, two full families right there. It's like one big happy family here. That's it. Kind of tearing yeah, up over here. Yeah, we have happy family. 234 left, 77-59 Hillers, and the Hillers have reached their uh, top offensive output. And yeah. Ellis wow. Spar Damn. launching the three-pointer, 80 points. You don't see 80 in any high school games too often, and nope. that is a beautiful You're right and I didn't think we were even going to get this out of the way, the way uh, they came out for this third quarter. That third quarter was a, a total change. I mean, if, if they carried on like the first half, you know, you could have saw a 90-something game here tonight. Well, it's, you know, very very consistent. They could still hit 90. They There's still a couple still minutes it. left. They start launching what them. The, what was their highest score game they had? 74 before tonight, so they got 80. So they got 80. Feed the beast. The students are out to feed the beast. They want it to, there it is, down to the beast, and it's blocked. Nicholas Hines, I'm assuming he's the beast because he's the big man. He is the big man <laughs> out there right now. And the hill of bench is all excited too. They want him to get in there. Oh, blocked again. Blocked. Kind of coming back to earth, uh, getting blocked two times in a row, but he'll be back. Ooh. Complete yeah. out of control shot by Norwood yeah. there. And it looked like a walk. Yeah. That was, uh, I'm going to throw something up and hopefully I get a foul. Well, they're <laughs> down by 21 points. But if you think about if you think about after the first quarter, 
Hillers, it's really been an even game since then. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you see the you see the Mustangs clean up their their uh, whole performance on the second half compared to the first. Wow, there's another block. Number 24, uh, Max Angelico. Three blocks in a row on Hines probably doesn't make Nick feel too good, but you know, just look at the scoreboard. I think he's feeling all right after that. Ooh, tough shot by Daniels for Norwood, and he'll have two shots. So, Mike, anything else going on at HK we want to talk about? Or? So, you know, tons of stuff going on. Uh, as we wind down, now we're getting ready for uh, uh, spring sports. Yep. Uh, we're going to be doing both, uh, of course, baseball and softball. And we're going to even try to pull off some lacrosse. We'll get uh, uh, some boys and girls lacrosse games in. And, uh, you know, whatever else we could do out there. Sounds good. Rebound by the Beast, Hines. I'm just assuming that he's the Beast. He is the Beast. Sazitsky looking for a little daylight. Nothing there for him. A little shake and bake. <laughs> Daniels, no good. 34 seconds left. Hiller's probably just going to let it run down here. There he goes. He's going in for it. He's going to go up. No. Nope. And it's blocked. <laughs> Kickball. Well, we got some nice even numbers for us, Mike. You're the mathematician, but we got 80 to 60. And what a convincing win. And, you know, coming off a 30-point win, a 30 point win right. on Wednesday night, that is a whole lot of scoring going on by the Hillers. And they are all warmed up. They have one more game before the playoffs start, and they are in a good spot for that. And seven seconds left. One more shot for Norwood, and that might do it for the game. And with two seconds left, they get a foul called. Damari Daniels, who's had a really good game for, for yeah. Norwood. One, between Daniels and Ben Tomas, Tomasello and um, Will Gamble. Yeah, Will, oh, Will Gamble, wow. He's, uh, you know, he's had a, those story. three of the... You know, 60 points, a decent amount of points, too. Absolutely. And um, But at the end of the day, the Hillers got that crazy first quarter that Norwood really had no answer for that. So two seconds left, and that'll do it, everybody. And we want to congratulate both teams, Norwood and Hoppington, for their efforts. Both teams had a, laid it all out there, and... Um, Again, the Hiller girls had a great season. I don't know if we're going to have them on TV anymore this year, but I want to congratulate them and the Hiller cheerleaders and all the seniors tonight, Mike. Yeah, especially the seniors and their families. Uh, you know, we got one more game, though. One more game, Wayland, the non-league game during their little break, which I just wanted to double-check and confirm that we're still on for. Yep. <laughs> so we'll be back here on Tuesday, uh, Hiller boys versus Wayland. Uh, Steve, you'll be uh, here with uh, the Tom all Nappy. field Tom Nappy. Yep. And tonight, what a fun time! One of the one of the most enjoyable uh, games of the season, no question about it, with a big crowd. And we want to thank our director Tom Dings, doing graphics, Samantha Dings, cameras, Mary Arnott, Gene Kamiski, and John Ritz, and uh, Mike Tarosian and Steve Spector here. The final score, 80 to 60, Hillers over Norwood. And we hope you all have a great weekend and uh, hope all the students enjoy their vacation. And have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks again.